Bridge engineers working with the strut and tie modeling technique now have a much clearer understanding of its design needs, thanks to researchers with the Center for Transportation Research at the University of Texas. In part, the strut and tie analysis will help create safer bridges and more consistent designs. So the specification currently requires footings to be designed by strut and tie analysis, but the strut and tie analysis provisions were based on the testing of deep beams and not footings. So this research was hoping to extend the knowledge of, and better represent the, the footing behavior. Designers were making a variety of different decisions uh, because the specifications are not clear as to uh, the decision-making process. That resulted in some design details uh, with constructability issues, some details that are overly conservative, and others that uh, made textile engineers question um, their uh, viability. The research was successful in accomplishing our main goal. We were able to refine the design procedures and increase our understanding of the footing behavior. This was accomplished by 16 full-scale test specimens and then finite element analysis to verify the test results of the physical tests. We tested some footings in a scale and loading scheme that is more realistic, if you will, than what's been done uh, before or more comprehensive is probably a better way of putting it. Detailed finite element analyses to where additional insights were gained led our team to reach conclusions uh, that, um, that basically provided a lot of clarification as to what to do and what not to do. We will look at all of the recommendations, and there were a lot. This, this research project uh, was really like six research projects put together. There, there was a lot of information we got from this. So we'll look at all of their recommendations and decide which ones we want to adopt, and we may change our design practice accordingly. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.